Good morning everyone and this is Torna and today we've got Screams kit just announced and holy cow if the um if the Simeras weren't broken before they're definitely going to be now um so first of all she looks like she's going to be a controller which was basically what I kind of predicted um, going to be the controller to go along with the symbiotes obviously to kind of help them kind of be filled out you've obviously got the um, you've got anti-venom coming as well who I'm suspecting is likely going to be the one who's removing the negative effects from them but screams kit wow it's just um very very crazy uh so let's get into it so first of all she's villain city bio controller and barrier that's basically what we expected i don't think anyone kind of expected anything else different to that her basics she's going to attack the primary target and chain to two adjacents clearing positive effects and applying a bleed now the great thing about this and this i did not expect it can chain to stealth targets um that's a first for a basic um first for a uh, sorry first for like a, a physical chain uh, being able to chain two stealth targets um, is really really cool because it means that she's able to clear those stealths away if that's the only positive effect they have obviously she has the chance of being able to um, clear it if uh, they have more positive effects but still um, being able to remove positive effects with her basic is really key there her special here also clears positive effects so it looks like she's going to be the one who's kind of helping uh venom clear away those positive effects on the enemy team she's going to attack the primary target clear positive effects and apply offense down chain to two adjacents clearing positive effects and apply offense down and that's going to change to stealth targets. Now this is basically her special is kind of like just an upgraded version of her basic which is interesting i didn't expect that to happen I would have thought her special would have flipped the positive effects. That would have been a lot better there. Um, obviously, Simbirds are already really strong though, so I guess you've got to kind of be careful not to break them for the whole entirety of the game. Um, so I think that this is still really good, obviously applying that offense down to make sure that you're living longer. Um, but it's definitely going to be choosing between wanting to use her basic and just applying the bleeds or using a special, clearing that extra positive effect and applying that offense down. The bleed, obviously, for more damage. Her special might deal more damage, obviously. They do um, usually have different modifiers and stuff, but yeah. Her ultimate here, she's going to attack the primary target and then attack adjacent targets. So it looks like that's going to be like an AoE um like a um a, a, an adjacent target attack uh, applying slow and disrupted for one turn uh, now this disrupt is going is going to be obviously being able to be extended by using either Simba or spider-man's um special there or being able to use um venom's uh spread to be able to spread it onto adjacent targets as well there um, now that's going to reduce the speed bar for the primary and secondary targets and it can't be blocked so that means it's going to be good in war it means that you're able to kind of take out merc so it looks like they're going to be a merc counter as well um, potentially um, definitely have the um, definitely have this the buildings to be able to be a merc, a merc counter there now her ultimate here i uh, sorry her passive here She's going to, on death, heal all symbiotes. Oh, first of all, that's crazy for a, a raid team, um, just being able to heal up your team, especially because then it applies a, st a speed up to self and all symbiote allies. So that means that the new symbiotes, um, obviously Scream and Anti-Venom will get that, and as well as the old ones. Uh, so that's going to be able to really be helpful in... Um, in uh, in raids obviously because um you are going to be killing a whole lot of characters constantly killing characters off any team that uh that you versus that has any summons or anything like that that's going to be helpful as well this is going to be super helpful against uh as guardians obviously her whole kit is actually really good against as guardians one of the issues with as guardians is that they get stuck behind that stealth bar uh, that stealth wall on uh hella but this basic and special alone will be able to help you kind of be able to clear that by clearing these positive effects away. So it looks like as guardians are just, they're no more from this. This is just going to wreck as guardians. 
um, especially because every time you kill Greg, he's going to you're going to heal up, and then you're going to get that speed up as well. The other thing is that she lowers the enemy uh, resistance if she has three or more symbiote allies. Obviously, you're going to be running her in full symbiotes, um, but this is great because they could have either gone with giving them more focus or reducing enemy resistance. They went with reducing the enemy resistance, which kind of helps. Now, this is the part that I did not expect. I completely lately did not expect this she is going to be the event campaign that's uh very crazy um i did not expect them to make the symbiotes an event campaign um scope is kind of really throwing us a bone there because obviously the symbiotes are the ones that most people are going to be wanting to wail out on this patch um so having her be a um, unlock via a an event campaign is just really 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 massive um i think they kind of really threw us a bone there <laughs> um i'm really happy with that um they're going to be doing stuff to do with doom in there uh, obviously she has an omin ominous pact with doom um gathering the symbiotes to join doom's army so it's going to be interesting to see how that kind of plays out obviously she'll probably end up um betraying doom i assume um to go alongside that um i'm really happy with this so this is really really cool um this is a super strong kit super broken um i'm i'm really excited for the sim birds now <laughs> I, I, if i wasn't before then that's definitely hyped me up now the next thing is a really really strange event here um so it looks like whoops sorry uh, it looks like they're going to be making characters switch nodes temporarily. So characters such as Yondu at uh, Heroes 1-9, all the characters in here, well, most of the characters in Heroes will have different characters taking over for them. You've got Mysterio taking over for Shield Medic, Yondu taking over for Bullseye here, Captain America for Shield Security, Shocker for Electro. I don't know what the aim of this event is here. It's definitely going to make um, the uh, yeah, uh, the uh, the v Avengers Wave One Avengers be easier to get, obviously, because you've got Black Widow being able to be here. You've got Captain America in a low node, Hawkeye in a low node. There, the fact that Captain Marvel is getting a node to be farmable for the first time ever is insanely great. Uh, farmable Captain Am Marvel is crazy, crazy good. Now, unfortunately, this is only for a limited amount of time. I have asked um, Zeke's for clarification on how long it's going to be. I doubt I can get that, unfortunately, um, just because obviously they don't know exactly how long it's going to be. Um, the good thing is that She-Hulk is likely going to be um, a Blitz as well. So that means that you can probably skip out on her. Next legendary is Phoenix. We kind of already knew that. My wife is so hyped for that. Um, she's been excited for him, um, uh, for her to come back for a while. And she's also going to be excited for this Cyclops Blitz. Ooh, damn it. That means that I'm going to have to Blitz for a bit. <laughs> no, um, I'm going to have to Blitz on two accounts now because she obviously was going to want Cyclops and I'm going to be wanting Cyclops. So that's something to kind of keep in mind. Cyclops Blitz coming up and the Thing Blitz. So I guess that's the one that kind of people are going to be skipping on. And then Cyclops is the one that everyone go hard on. We've got Chaos Theory coming back. Unfortunately, Chaos Theory got skipped last time, but it is coming back now. Um, RIP to Cheswick Bozeman, but um, it's good to see that it's coming back. They haven't like completely cancelled it or anything like that. But oh, holy cow! Farmable Captain Marvel and Scream going to be making the uh, t the team just going insane. I I'm really in love with this. Um, the other thing is that Spider Man Simba is still not farmable. I just wanted to mention that quickly. Um, it's pretty crazy. Simba Spider Man's been f around for. Oh, what uh, February this uh, February this year um, so that's that uh, eight months or something like that and he's still not around to be farmable so I think we need some justice for spider here uh, it's kind of pretty pretty crazy the Darth spider is still away but that's it for today guys I want to know what you guys think of scream she looks insane especially because that means that we're not going to have to put anyone else with the Asgardians uh, in the symbols to count it as guardians being able to clear stealth is key to being able to get rid of some of the characters in certain nodes and stuff um, being able to kind of apply that slow and disrupt is really great, especially against certain war teams. And even in raids, it's really helpful. The healing on any 
death of any character is crazy. I'm suspecting that we're going to see Anti-Venom having a revive. I want to put that out there. Anti-Venom is going to have a revive in my opinion. I think that that's going to be really helpful here because it's death on any character. Um, just being able to have a revive. Any uh, There's not very many characters that have death on any character. But ones such as uh, Mordo obviously go on teams that have revives. So it'll be interesting to see how that works out. But that's it for today guys. I want to know what you guys think. Have a great day and goodbye.